I think I may have pushed myself a little too far. I don't feel as horrible as I do when I do night shift stretches. <sighs> I'm hoping for the best today, man. What's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine. Don't forget to follow my social media at Jasmine. Today's vlog, I wanted to take you guys along with me a day in my life. But this week, I wanted to take you along with me on my three-day stretch. So I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Things get a little bit hectic on three-day stretches. So that's why I'm actually eating breakfast today. Hopefully today is a okay day. Hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. Um, right now it's about 7.12. I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. I made some tea. Um, this is kind of pointless because there's no caffeine, but outfit today, I look like a freaking track star <laughs> because of my jacket, but it's fit scrubs with these underscrubs that I bought from Walmart for like eight bucks. And then this Adidas jacket that I thrifted. I'll see you guys in a few minutes after I finish my breakfast. I want to pack you for lunch. I always pack a Trader Joe's salad. My grandma made hunts it. And then I have like a bunch of snacks, like goldfish, some pretzels, just in case I get hungry. I never really have time to actually eat them, but I have them just in case. I'm at work now. I feel like this tea made me so freaking sleepy. Yeah, I'm just like really, really sleepy right now. It's horrible. I'm gonna chew some gum and hopefully that'll help. About almost 7.45. Um, um, I used to get out super early, like at 7.30 something, 40, because I would change my scrubs, um, but I don't do that anymore. I'm just like kind of over it. It was really nice that they did give us the option to, but it's just so out of my way. Second, third floor, then I have to go to the scrub X machine, check it out, then change. Like when you're done with your shift, you never really want to go back and have to change, so that's why I'm like, ah. Uh, Hopefully today is a good day. This is one of three in a row. Fourth shift this week. How fun. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good Friday. I normally don't mind working on the weekends. I think it's more so because of the fact that I can park closer. It's not far, it's just inconvenient. But yeah, um, I'm gonna chill out for now. And then I'll talk to you guys later. But you know how this shift goes. I hope today is a good day. gave us these like salads, it looked really good with some chips and then I have some water. What's up everyone? It's 8.30 right now. I am off my shift, finally. I, so, I'm honestly not tired. I'm tired, but I'm not. I could be more tired. Um, I ended up taking home the turkey lunch that they gave us. But right now, I'm gonna head home. It's gonna take like 18 minutes to go home, and then go shower up, get ready for bed. Uh, we'll see you wear this hood so you don't see how ugly I look. Hey, what's up, everyone? It is 9.30 almost right now. I just got home. I just wanted to recap everything that went on today. Today was actually not too, too bad. Um, usually, in my experience, um, Friday nights are the worst and Monday mornings are the worst. So, because I left when it got crazy, it wasn't too bad. Um, there was like a nurse who was like brand new 
Um, she's like on her second day on her own and she was floated down there and I felt so bad. Um, cause it's hard being new and the fact that they floated her there, I just felt so bad. I know I am gonna go probably hydrate a little bit. I ate dinner there, um, for like 6.30 so I'm actually not hungry at all. Um, probably pack my lunch for tomorrow and then basically I don't have to pack my lunch because whatever food I had from today's lunch I could just reuse for tomorrow so that should be good because um, they provided us lunch today and dinner which is super nice of them um, they don't normally do that but they just happened to this um, evening so I'm grateful for that so thank you to I think it was like the doctors who provided the lunch and dinner so yeah that was just super nice um, other than that, I have two more days. I'm going to work Saturday, Sunday, and then I have like two days off. Um, I was going to pick up maybe just like a four or six hour shift. I don't really know. We'll see. But I will see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle it with the bagel. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. What's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of my three day stretch. Um, as you saw, I woke up a little bit earlier than I normally woke up. You were wondering, I went to sleep around like maybe around 11. Um, I was already tired and then I took melatonin so it made me even more tired so, so I slept from like 11 to I remember the exact time I woke up was 6 to 18 um, and then I went on a little one mile jog on the treadmill and that made me feel a little bit more energized today um, but yeah today's day two 8 to 8 30 p.m. I wish I could tell you why our thing is from 8 to 8 30 instead of 7 to 7 30 but I wouldn't even know myself <sighs> I'm hoping for the best today man um, but because it's the weekend today's Saturday um, I'm in a different part of the parking area and I never come through this area so I never really see what it looks like in the morning. Walking in and actually seeing how actually busy it is. I have my green tea that I warmed up this morning. It's too milky for my taste and milk makes me tired. So I am gonna stray away from that. I, I bought this huge pack from, I think it was Walmart or Target. And I think this is nice to have. I wanted to share with you but this is what I do before work. I've been using my Bible app on finding peace. That's It's by Charles F. Stanley. And I've just been reading this um, whenever I have time. And I think it's just gives me peace. Especially because of the fact that our world is so like messed up right now. So that's what I've been doing. I brought my lunch today. It's so heavy. And then I have a salad that I always get from Trader Joe's. So yeah, that's that's the plan for today. Just gonna relax, hydrate a little bit before work. It's like 7.40 right now. I think, I think I'll get out at like 7.50 probably. So, see you guys later. So I just checked. Nothing stopped for these, so I have to stop these. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. It's day three. I did not vlog at all on day two because, to be honest with you, I was so freaking exhausted. Um, I got my hair. Um, anyway, today is my three of three, but technically my five of five because <laughs> I've worked five this week, but this is my third in a row. Um, it's about 7 a.m. right now. I wanted to get some coffee. We do have a coffee maker at work. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself because it's my third day and I'm feeling rough and I I took some melatonin at like 9 so that I would knock out by 10. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm so, I feel like so beat up right now. Um, I was gonna try and pick up again on Tuesday so that I would work, be working um, Tuesday, 
Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, see how I feel today and tomorrow, and if I want to pick up, I'll pick up. But if not, I'm I'm just gonna forget about it because um, I'm just like way too tired. Yesterday was an okay day until the end, where I basically had to transfer. I had to transfer a patient day that I didn't learn a lot because I. I'm glad that I learned how to do it and someone was able to walk me through it and I'm thankful for that but I just wish I hadn't actually had to like stay over to do it. I didn't get out until like almost 9. But yeah, today is my last day. It's Sunday. It's January 10th. And today's gonna be a good day because I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some coffee and I'm gonna just chill for a while. You know, do my thing vibe to some music and hopefully today will be a good day and maybe I really just need to take a break from work. I, I've been picking up a lot so I probably should just chill for the next week but the thing is there's like this incentive pay thing but we'll see. I'll see you guys when I get my coffee. Hi, can I get one tall pike place with cream and one packet of Splenda on the side? Of course, anything else? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yay, yay. I miss the good old days when. Starbucks gave it for free <laughs> but um, what's it called they have pretty good marketing because now I look like I came back and I bought it myself <laughs> so yeah I just got a regular pipe place they're always super fast for the most part I remember there was one day where they weren't and it was super late because I always anticipate that they're going to be um, fast but you never really should but I really wanted something like not so sweet because I ate so much sugar yesterday. I didn't show you guys, but they like gave us cookies and like these really um, dense bagels from Panera. And then the lunch and like dinner was healthy because it was like turkey wraps and salad, but they've been giving us that like a while. But the actual cookies were so, like I ate like two of them, it's so bad. I probably shouldn't have. So I have my coffee. It's like piping hot, so I had to take the lid off. I'm a little bit early. It's only seven. I'm actually a lot of bit early. It's 7.27. I'm gonna be early to work than running late because I hate, I hate being stressed right before work. I am so happy to be done. I think I may have pushed myself a little too far this week. I don't feel as horrible as I do when I do night shift stretches. I'll tell you that but still like 12 hours is still 12 hours. I'm getting adequate amount of sleep, but it's just really, really busy in the daytime. So that's why sometimes um, these day shifts can get really exhausting too. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know. This, um, I don't know. This week has just been like a really, everything just mushes together. Um, there's a lot of things that I've learned this week um, and I'm glad that I was able to like learn them um, at this pace because when I first started, excuse me, when I first started, it was just like, I was thrown into like chaos. Um, our ratio here, um, it ranges like a lot just depending on how much our patient population fluctuates as does it everywhere else um, I want to hear about how everyone else is doing in the hospitals because because I'm really curious to see like I don't know if it's just I live in Southern California so I want to know how everyone in I know there's a lot of you from Canada from Georgia how is it in your hospitals there how is COVID how is the general patient population. The thing is people don't realize is that even though COVID is going on, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that stroke stops and doesn't mean that people stop getting like MIs. So on top of that emergent situation, we're getting fluctuations of COVID patients. So that's that. Um, 
gonna just enjoy my time by myself <laughs> I have a lot of time before I go into work and I just want to chill out and relax before my last shift because before it gets all crazy um, this may or may not be my last um, clip so anyway um, if it is I hope you guys enjoy this vlog I know this may have been a little bit scattered along the course of three days but it is generally realistic because sometimes you get really really busy and <laughs> you don't have time to do certain things so yeah it's been a ride and you know it's gonna continue to be like this especially with the holidays ending much 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 later hey what's up everyone um it's a little while later it is my day off and i just wanted to close out this vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching um this is my pretty realistic three day stretch um i'm not even gonna lie this is probably one of the easier weekends that i've ever worked to be completely honest um so yeah if you guys like these types of vlogs, don't forget to like and comment and follow my social media at Jazzinner. If you have any questions about anything, you can always shoot me a DM or you can always comment down below. Um, these times are pretty crazy, so I really appreciate everyone's support. I will see you guys in the next vlog.